Right, so we're gonna move on sa last portion or kumbaga last module natin dito sa ating CCNA Masterclass and that is understanding or kumbaga familiarizing ourselves dun sa mga basics and kumbaga environment ng tinatawag natin na Cisco DNA Center. Okay, so pero bago natin puntahan yun, bago tayo magkaroon ng walkthrough or uh, tour ika nga inside the DNA Center itself, let's talk about kung, kung ano at kung para saan yung Cisco DNA natin na tinatawag. Right? So, since the evolution of automation and programmability, of course, si Cisco as being the king and queen or the leader of the networking industry, uh, they propose a uh, solutions, o, uh, ika nga, or technology that will tackle um, all the, the tinatawag natin na digital uh, networks. Okay, so ang tawag na natin or ang tawag ni Cisco with uh, the, the mother, kumbaga mother of all na technology is DNA or Digital Network Architecture. So basically, it's uh, an intent-based networking approach or um, mother of all products kasi dito lahat pumapasok yung mga Cisco DNA Center and SD1 and SD Access and so on and so forth. So, digital network architecture is basically uh, yung approach ni Cisco or solutions ni Cisco uh, into the intent-based or software-based networking. So, if we're going to take a look right now, Cisco is heavily focused on its implementation or rollout ng mga digital network architecture products niya and technologies <clears throat> na may kinalaman sa tinatawag nga natin na intent-based networking kasi uh, dun papunta eh, dun niya nakikita na papunta and dun, dun niya nakikita na uh, mag adapt yung market. Okay? And then um, since it's an umbrella, kumbaga, since it's the mother of all um tinatawag natin na, na technologies and product na Cisco, we can see na it's uh, all-in-one. Kasi yung nga sabi ko, dito pong mapasok yung DNA Center, dito pong mapasok yung SD1 ni Cisco, dito pong mapasok yung iba pa niyang uh, newly products and technologies na may kinalaman sa automation and programmability, especially sa tinatawag nga natin na intent-based networking. Ano ba yung intent-based networking? Well, from from the the CCNA perspective intent based networking means um it has some ai mechanism wherein uh the technology itself is uh can decide kumbaga or has a knowledge sabihin na natin on what would be the best and efficient way to manage the network something like that okay so uh in terms of devices naman of course in, uh, sabi nga natin, since uh, it's a mother of technologies including the products, may mga products din or may mga kumbaga, newly uh, tawag dito, groups of devices din na ini-introduce si Cisco that is capable of handling the intent-based networking. Ay, kasi hindi naman uubra na bago yung, yung implementation mo, bago yung kumbaga model and technology mo pero yung mga devices mo is legacy so uh, of course by being a business and then by being kumbaga uh, high tech or by being future proof Cisco also introduced um, list of newly devices that is programmable and that is uh, kumbaga compatible with intent based networking so sa mga routers we do have this model, ISR 1000, ISR 4000, and then um, um, for Meraki na routers, we have Meraki MX, right? And then for switches, we have Catalyst 9000 family, and then we also have Catalyst 2960L. So these are just examples. I just took this from Cisco's official website para magkaroon tayo ng idea, and then Meraki switches. So itong mga to they are programmable, they are compatible with intent-based networking, and they are expensive. <laughs> okay, so um, another one is for wireless. So we have Catalyst 91,000, Catalyst 98,000, wireless controller, and then Meraki AR access point. So itong mga to are just example or sample models ng mga bago or makabagong uh, networking equipment or devices na uh, in-introduce or ni-release ni Cisco 
in conjunction dun sa release nila ng kanilang digital network architecture. So, itong mga models na binanggit ko, sinare ko sa inyo are, are some of the examples ng model na compatible with the intent-based networking. Meaning, you can manage them via a controller, katulad ng pinag-usapan natin sa northbound and southbound APIs. And then, of course, uh, via what we call the Cisco DNA Center. Okay, so itong mga devices na ito, uh, kapag i-implement na natin, for example, in our enterprise, we also we can also get, for example, the management software side or yung kumbaga yung pinaka-GUI niya and that brings us to the Cisco DNA Center. Okay, so yun yung parang pinaka-dashboard niya, uh, management software or dashboard niya for managing the Cisco DNA technologies. Okay, so you can see here the example pero... The concept is the Cisco DNA Center has the Cisco DNA Center appliance and then it can manage your physical and virtual infrastructure or even third parties. Okay? So, again, di ba yung pinag-usapan natin, since ito yung uh, DNA Center mode, this will serve as your controller in controlling your network devices. So, basically, this will be your SBI. And then the the disk, uh, Cisco DNA Center can also act as your NVI or northbound interface, including other programs na pwede mong gamitin like uh, Python and uh, other um, automation software. Pero you're getting the point. And then Cisco DNA Center has four main functions, which is uh, policy, ay, palitan natin, policy, provision, Designed and Assurance. So, mamaya pag-uusapan natin yung kung ano-ano yung mga yan. And then, we're also gonna have a walkthrough inside the DNA Center itself para makita natin yung itsura. Okay? And then, sabi ko nga, since it's the management software, kumbaga, di ba, kanina na-introduce ko sa inyo or dun sa naunang slide, yung mga products or mga devices or mga equipments. Now, since they are, um, tawag dun, designed for intent-based networking, they can be managed by software. So, that software or that dashboard or software solution is yun na nga yung mismong DNA center. Right? Nagigets ba? Ibig sabihin, uh, Cisco DNA center to, for example, uh, DNAC, ito yung mga devices mo, hindi ka na naglalag in via CLI, hindi ka na nagko-console, kung console man, for example, lalot kailangan, okay lang. I mean, hindi ka na nagsi-CLI, di ba? All of your devices will be managed by that software, which is what we call DNA Center. Does that make sense? So, kumbaga, yung traditional na if we are going to troubleshoot or get some information on router or switches, kailangan nating mag-login or mag-telnet or mag-SSH dun sa device. Uh, yun yung ginagawa natin traditionally or even right now, di ba? Pero with the DNA Center, we just log into the software and then we can pull up that information. Or even most high-tech or much, uh, baga, mas high-tech is we use a programming language or any other software connected to sa DNA Center natin via API and pull up those information or do something in our network. Di ba? So, yun yung kaibahan. It's a uh, software-based na yung pagmamanage natin. Okay, now, uh, centralized dashboard din and of course, ang kagandahan is it's in graphical user interface. So kahit papano, kahit hindi ka IT, sabihin na natin, you can, pagtingin mo dun sa dashboard, you can understand some details eh. Although yung mga technicals, of course, kailangan mo maintindihan yung part ng networking. Pero, for example, uh, ako ay isang sa change management, di ba? So I can see the health or sa monitoring lang ako, I can see the health of my my devices, for example, or yung mga alarms, di ba? Even, uh, tawag doon, yung mga ticketing system natin, like for example, service na we can connect that to Cisco DNA Center para pag may alarm, automatic magkikrate ng ticket and so on and so forth. You're getting the point? So since it's a software, we can connect them to another software, <laughs> via API and then uh, manipulate, change or gather or display information the way we need and the way we want. Nagigets? Diba? So, yung traditional, you have to log in, you have to go to the device itself and then check all of those. Now, with Cisco DNA Center, nandun na lahat. Makikita mo lahat ng devices mo, lahat ng sites mo, lahat ng wireless, etc. mo, lahat ng utilization reports mo, and so on and so forth. Di ba? So, I'm not sure kung, kung um, 
What do you call this? Kung familiar kayo with uh, ano tawag dun? All-in-one na, na, na program. Anyway, so probably in the next video na nasa dulo na ng dila ako pero hindi ko maalala. Anyway, so that's just basically the introduction for our Cisco DNA Center. In the next coming video, we're gonna log in into the, the test environment or demo environment ng Cisco DNA Center para makita natin itong mga to. Ano ba yung provision? Ano ba yung policy? Ano ba yung design? Ano ba yung assurance? And how does the management uh, of the DNA Center looks like in reality? Or ano yung itsura ng GUI niya? Okay, so I'll just introduce you kung ano yung Cisco DNA Center and I hope by now you understand kung para saan siya at kung bakit meron siya. Again, it's the, the management software or the dashboard side in managing the Cisco DNA technologies or equipments. Okay? So, again, in the next coming video, we're gonna do have a demo or a walkthrough of the DNA Center itself. So, I guess this is it for the introduction. I'll see you on the next video.